welcome to the project demonstration of design and hardware implementation of closed loop buck converter using fuzzy logic controller so here we are implementing the fuzzy logic in peak microcontroller so the next concept is like the fuzzy logic as you know that so boolean logic and fuzzy logic boolean logic is going to be the 0 and 1 coming to the fuzzy logic it's going to be the varying with smooth inputs and smooth outputs so here the main uh, project purpose is we are going to do the bug converter so whenever the input voltage is increases and the user can set the output voltage how much he required so it will not boost up it will do only bug converter so the risk required voltage will be stepped down with the help of the fuzzy logic using this bug converter circuit board so here the flow is we are going to provide the 230 volts AC input transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and to this uh, regulated power supply board on this regulated power supply board you can see four diodes are there they are connected in a manner of bridge rectifier so after the bridge rectifier we will get pulsating DC and the pulsating DC input to this capacitor so here the capacitor acts as a smoothing purpose so we will remove the pulses from the pulsating DC and then that pulse, pulse removed pure DC voltage given as input to the buck converter and input to the 7805 regulator so the 7805 regulator output is 5 volts constant power supply which is sufficient to make run this microcontroller based on our instructions in the, in the inside that so that 5 volts is given from this wire to the main motherboard so once it get the 5 volts power supply it start reading input from the reference voltage potentiometer and voltage sensor of one input voltage sensor of two output so based on these two input uh, calculations in closed loop manner means we are going to set the for example the input voltage is going to be uh, around 18 volts consider so that was input to the our buck converter and whenever we set the voltage for 10 volts so the microcontroller initially check the input voltage and then check the reference voltage and then check the output voltage so it's closed loop so input to the controller and output will be controlled through this transistor board along with buck converter so the buck converter output is given to the transistor and directly to that to our led load so here like that so input voltage to the controller based on the reference voltage buck converter and again output voltage checking so means the controller will read the inputs and it will ask for the user and based on the input voltage it will control the output voltage by providing the pulse width modulation signals by using the fuzzy logic controlling technology so fuzzy logic control technology will provide mainly useful for the smoothing purpose so if it is the boolean logic that is going to be the 0 and 1 only there is no like uh, smoothing controlling so then there is a difference between the output voltage uh, will be uh, shown to us so if you control the smoothing input to the controller so the brightness of this led also will be controlled in smoothing manner so we can observe that by seeing the intensity of the led so this led bus it is going to be the 12 volts maximum it can handle up to 20 volts not more than that so coming to the ratings so in this one we are using pic 16 f 72 microcontroller so this is the restart switch to restart the microcontroller and this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which is used to provide the clock pulse of 20 megahertz to our microcontroller so the main purpose of this crystal oscillator is any ic like program or pre program like we as you know that flip flops and ice all so they need a clock pulse because they need the clock pulse one clock pulse per instruction so in our project we have provided a set of instructions to read the inputs and uh, reference input voltage output voltage so these instructions will be executed based on the one clock pulse one instruction like that we are providing 20 mega pulses per second so that the controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second and this red LED is a power LED indication and green LED is programmable LED indication so when we switch on the kit so this it will be on and off two times it's on and off two times that's indicated as the kit initialized properly and it is executing, executing the steps so coming to the bug operation how it operates so when we sending the pulse signal to this MOSFET based on the on time and off time the output voltage varies so here using the bug converter so based on the on time so means to do the bug operation we should provide the 
below 50% duty cycle. So if it is above 50% duty cycle, then the charging time of this capacitor will increase so that we will get the high voltage with high current that is considered as a boost converter. So we should provide the 50% less duty cycle, the duty cycle nothing but as you know that half time by on time by half time total time, on time by total time. Right. So we should, we should decrease the so called on time to the 50% below only. So then let us see the demonstration. So once we switch on the gate, there is a welcome message on the LCD screen and then it will show the reference voltage is going to be the 17.5 and uh, input voltage is 7.8 and output is 16.8. So instead of getting as it is voltage due to the losses because of the capacitors and diode, so then we will get the less voltage over here. So next, so just I am decreasing the voltage smoothly you can see with the observation of like uh, intensity of the LED load right so it decreases smoothly so when it is zero directly total light will be off as reference voltage is zero input is 19.6 but we set the reference to the zero volts that's why we are getting the output of zero volts so here the main purpose of this buck converter is in order to increase the lifetime of the output LED loads. So if you go with the like 0 and 1 that is going to be the on and off continuously then the lifetime of LED bulbs will be decreases. So consider if it can apply, uh, apply this uh, project application in real time like street lights or in theaters to control the intensity of the lights. Right. So full voltage, full voltage will be given to the load directly.